Today I'm going to take you through setting up a sub panel. I have all my wiring run and on the inside and we're going to bring it to this sub panel right here. I have a, a box on the inside of the house that I'm going to have my main power running and that's what this is. We haven't hooked it up yet so if you see everything just wires everywhere uh, I'm not being unsafe here. It's just that there is no power coming to this sub panel. So I want to say that I'm not an electrician. So the best thing to do is uh, consult an electrician if you have a friend or if you need to hire somebody, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, especially if it's hooked into an existing power source, you do not want to get electrocuted because you'll be fried. You could even die from it. So be extremely careful. So what we'll do today is we're going to hook into this sub panel. I have several breakers because I have it split. So half of my receptacles are going to be on one side. The other half is on the other side. And then this is for my lighting. So I've already put my breakers in and I actually had these kind of wired up, but it was really messy. And so I wanted to come back and show you guys how to do this and hook it up. Uh, so that's what we'll do today as we'll go through this. I'll just kind of show you my panel. So my panel's at a good height that I have raised here. And this is so that you can easily uh, access it. You don't want it too high because if somebody's shorter, they won't be able to get to it and turn something off if, if there's something going on. Uh, so what you have in here is you have where your power's gonna come in right here. It's gonna hook up to these three. A lot of the wires are color-coded, so usually a black or red. And over here is your neutral, that's your white one. So this is your neutral bar. And then over here on this side is where your copper will go. This is your ground. Okay, These are, this is your ground bar and your neutral bar. Um, and then your wires that come in from, that you're going to run like this is coming from my lighting. You got to drop through here in the box. I'll have a black, white, and copper wire. My black is going to plug into my breaker. This is a 15 amp breaker right here. And then I have my white wire, which is going to go to my neutral bar in any of these slots right here. And then my gold, which is my ground, and it could go into any of these slots. So that's what we'll do. We'll run this through. Don't forget to go and subscribe, hit like. I think there's going to be many more videos uh, coming your way. So here's our box. Here's what it looks like inside. So I have all my breakers that I will install later. We're gonna install it right here, maybe about four feet up, maybe about here. So if you noticed, when we do the install, there's a big gap right here. And because this is a tough shed, I don't have the wall that I could put it up against. Uh, this is actually the external wall right here. So what I'm gonna do is I have these two by fours here. I'm gonna put these up first. We will just mount it to the two by fours on the side and that that way it'll be nice and secure so let's go ahead and do that and get this thing installed and we will put our breakers in So here's the breakers that I have. So I have three 15 amps right here. So these will each be individually run. I have one that's going around this way for my uh, some receptacles that I have over here. And then I have some receptacles going back this way to go around the rest of the part of the, the shed. And so I have these two split just because if something <clears throat> happens over on one side, it doesn't, you know, put you out on the other side. So that just, uh, just to split it up in there. And then I have a 30 that it's run with 12 two wire that's gonna go all the way around on the other side. And that's where I'm gonna put my heating and air unit. I think I'm gonna do a mini split and this will be, you know, perfect for that. So we just wanted to split it up 
Um, oh, and I forgot to mention the third one is actually for my lights. So that'll actually also run this way and go over my door. And so that will uh, power two sets, uh, two lights on the outside, and then it'll also power uh, lights on the inside. And I'll probably have two sets of lights on the inside too that, that that's actually gonna power. So we'll put these in and go ahead and get these wired up. All right, I wanna show you these little clamps that go in these what they're called knockouts. So in your box, you have little places that you can knock out the holes uh, for your wires that you're gonna run. And then you have these little clamps you can see right here that will go in there. And it has a, a nut on one end. And, um, and then over here, this is where your wires actually go in. And then you could screw those down and it keeps your wires nice and tight. So if you notice right here, I have my wires going in. I've screwed them down. So all this does is it just goes up in a hole, so wherever your knockout is, and then you just screw this down to keep it nice and secure, and that's what's up here. Um, and it just keeps your wire in there nice and tight. All right, let's work at getting these wired in. Um, I've already cut some of these to give us something to work with. I have my knockouts here that you'll be able to slide each, each wire in. lets me a little more difficult. I got a little bit too much cut so what I'm gonna do is work these, these through here, my wires, give a little room, and I'm gonna run these around. So this wire right here is gonna be my right side. So if I take this and kind of loop it around, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these so I got plenty of space here. Cut that wire. This is gonna be for my neutral. So it's gonna kind of run around. I'll put it up top here. I'll go ahead and cut that. And this is my ground. That's gonna run right here, right there at top. So I'll go ahead and cut that. <clears throat> All right, what we want to do is so I'm on, um, on these breakers. There's a line. There's a little marking right here that tells you how much to cut off. So if I line that up, it's about right there. So it's not a whole lot of wire that's exposed. And what that does, it just allows you to make sure that whatever you're uh, wiring up, you don't have too much bare wire sticking out. So I'll go ahead and cut both of my wires. To accommodate that. Alrighty, get my screwdriver. So first of all, I have my neutral right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll just take my neutral and slide it in. Get it in nice and snug. All right. Then I got my ground. Sometimes you could kind of um, just angle these a little bit to where you could get them in here. And they'll slide in nice and easy. Tighten my ground. So like I mentioned earlier, um, each wire is gonna have a neutral, a ground, and then your hot. So here's my hot, 
and the hot just slides right in. Right there, and you just tighten it down. And that's really all there is to it. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of get my wires in here to kind of keep them nice and neat and tucked away on the side. All right, that's all there is to it. I uh, just want to recap real quick what we've done. Make sure when you bring your wires in, you have your wire clamps uh, to keep them in there nice and snug. Try to be neat, run your wires around. You should have three different wires that you're working with in this uh, particular case. Uh, the black one, which is your hot, is gonna go into your breaker. Then you have a white that's gonna go to your neutral bar over here. And then you have a copper one, which will go to your ground bar. That's really all there is to it. Uh, my suggestion is to uh, go ahead, if you have enough circuits in your box, Go ahead and create several want several circuits, you know, if you have multiple things hooked in, uh, multiple things going on. That way if something goes wrong, like say one side of uh, a circuit, then you still have receptacles on another side if, that you want to use. Or your lighting, um, you could create two different circuits for that. This is 125 amps, six circuit box, it has 12 spaces. Alright, just a quick tip here. Um, make sure you cut off uh, as much, you know, more than what you think you need. So you want to give yourself enough room because you know these wires have to run over here and these run here. So it's okay to have more than what you need. You could always wrap it up in there. So my white and brown is going to go over here to the left and these two are going to slide in right here. So my ground wire is going to come in at an angle over here. I'm going to go ahead and help it out, curve it around a little bit. All right. Uh, I've noticed I say all right a whole lot. <laughs> well, that's okay. Unscrew these so I'll have room. and red here because this is your main feed. This is my neutral. Remember all my white wires are going here to my neutral. Okay, so we got our line coming in. This is our main wire. Our two mains. Hot is going to go in here. All right. Black, red, your neutral, and your ground. Everything else, my breakers, I'm going to make sure they're off. They're all off. And that way, I'm going to go in the house and I'm going to turn that on. And once I turn the house breakers on them, I'll come back out here, make sure nothing's smoking or, or acting crazy. And I'll test these. 
one by one and then we'll go around and we'll test our outlets and see if we got power. All right, here we go. Got the power run to it. Gonna hit my first breaker. I have lights. It works. But today is definitely an exciting day. Been waiting, I got chills right now thinking about it because I've been waiting so long to get this electrical done. And it, it, once this is done, then I could, you know, I've done walls before, sheetrock, I've done flooring. All that's gonna be pretty easy to put in relatively to what I've had to do. So I've, I've never done electrical before. This is the first time I'm doing it. I have been asking a good buddy of mine and uh, he's helped out a lot. Uh, it, you know, the main thing is just being careful. Don't do something stupid like I did this morning. And, you know, it, it, this is nothing to play with. Like electrical, we all know, will kill you. It can, it can injure you. But anyway, today's an exciting day. I got the electrical done. Uh, I just want to encourage you, you know, uh, God has given us all gifts. And those gifts, you know, um, are, are straight from Him. And He gives us talents. And sometimes we don't know we have a certain talent unless we try it. You know, being a DIYer is one of those things that, you know, you could do a lot more than what you think you can. And um, I'm, I'm a testament of that. You know, I, I'm definitely not skilled in this. I'm, I'm a, uh, you know, a technical guy. I've worked in IT my whole career, sit in front of a computer. But to come out and do these things is very rewarding. And I just encourage you to try it at least. Uh, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there. There's tons of them that I've learned off of that are way better than uh, my videos. Uh, go and just try something today. Uh, thank you for joining. There's a lot more to come from this. You know, we're halfway there, but we've, we've hit a big hurdle today in doing this. So please go subscribe, hit like, share it with your friends, add some comments uh, to some of the things that, uh, that I've done. And uh, thank you for watching.